Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Rescue Megazord from Power Rangers Turbo. So this is a pretty fun Zord. Um, it's a sort of a triple changer. It has individual vehicle modes, individual robot modes, and then the Megazord mode, which is really cool. Um, typical disclaimer here, I don't think I'm missing much, but as with these retro reviews, I tend to be missing pieces because either I didn't get them or I lost them along the way. In the case of this, whatever I'm missing, I just lost because I'm an idiot kid and I've had this since I was young. But anyway, enough about me. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll take a look at these guys individually and then just transform them as we go. Uh, let's just go left to right. So here is the Green Rangers Turbo Rescue Zord. Um, what's funny, um, I actually didn't really know these guys had names. Like, you know, I watched Turbo when I was little, and I rewatched it a few years ago, and I'm probably going to rewatch it pretty soon on my full rewatch. But uh, the amount of times I've seen Turbo through episodes, I actually never really paid attention that these guys had actual names. Um, you know, the original Turbo Zords, they yelled out the names, so, uh, when they morphed, at least for the first half, so you, you knew them pretty well. These ones I just knew like this. this. is the Green Rescue Zord. This is the yellow one. But anyway, I looked it up, and they actually kind of have funny names. Like, this one is the Thunder Loader. That sounds like a poor name. But anyway, um, it's kind of like, um, it looks like a garbage truck, sort of. I... I I feel like I'm an idiot for not knowing specific names of these types of cars, but this is, seems like those ones that, you know, keep dirt in them and they're like, and then the dirt comes out of it. But um, it's a pretty boring vehicle, let's be honest. It's nothing cool. It's not an awesome race car or truck or something. It's a really weird maintenance vehicle. Um, doesn't look terribly bad. I got a little sticker there with the three on it. Nothing really amazingly special about it. And that's kind of the thing about all these Zords, which I'll probably mention a lot in this review, is I'm not a huge fan of any of the designs, but this is probably one of my favorite Megazords just for how much fun it is. Um, but anyway, to transform it, it's pretty simple. Just pull this down when I did that weird moo cow noise. Fold it like that, and then fold this in, and you get the feet. Uh, then extend it up so you get some knees there. And then his little arms will just pop out here. And then just fold this piece back, and then right in here is the head. And then, oops, you don't pinch my belt. And you just snap the fingers there. And you have this little Mega, Megazord robot mode here. And it's pretty basic. It's, it's like an obvious older 90s toy where it's so blocky and boring. Um, but I really dig these. Uh, they're just a lot of fun to transform, and it's very simple. So there you have green, the Thunder Loader. All right, now we have Blues, which is the Siren Blaster, which I guess kind of makes sense. Uh, you know, Mountain Blaster, Siren Blaster, which is a cop car, which I think is probably the coolest of the bunch because it's pretty sleek looking. It looks like a futuristic cop car. You know, the visor is kind of angled a little bit. It's, it's really sleek. It's actually pretty cool looking. I actually dig it quite a bit. Um, you got the little sirens there. It can roll, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's probably the, the coolest of the bunch because all the other ones look kind of strange in one form or another, but still pretty cool. Uh, this guy's transformation is a little different from the rest. Uh, pull his legs down like this, these will fall out frequently. And then down here are, <coughs> excuse me, little feet. to pop out. And then right here you just fold these out, and there are his arms. And then just fold this piece down, and you get his little head. And there you have Siren Blaster in his robot mode. So, take a quick look at him. It's, once again, pretty blocky, but the transformation, it's fun and it's simple, um, and that's all there is to it. All he can really do is move his legs. Um, these are can be super loose after a long time. I played with this a lot when I was little, and like you saw, these pieces will tend to fall out a little bit. But that all just depended on yours. You could have gotten this with relatively little use, so that might not even be a case for you. Alright, now we have reds. Now this one, maybe, what, maybe where I looked up is wrong, but it says it's the Lightning Fire Tamer Rescue Zord. Settle down, bro. That's too many names. Just settle down. But it's obviously a fire truck. Um, one thing of note, if you can tell here, this looks a little broken. Now, when you transform it, you're supposed to press little arms in here and then fold these together. For the life of me, since I was little, I could never get this to close properly. And I looked at pictures, I checked some other videos out, and they all did it perfectly. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Feel free to comment like, Dawson, you forgot to push the secret button here that does it. But from what I know right now, it's got a really crappy mechanism in terms of putting it together. But ignoring that, it's a pretty generic looking fire truck. There's nothing special about it. You have these little cannons here. I can't tell if this one, I think this one's broken here. I it broke at some point, as you can see it's broken off there. But yeah, like you can see there's a big gap here, which I'll go ahead and transform it into its robot mode now. So you open it up, and these are going to be the hands. And they're still going to go in here for Megazord mode. But, you know, you're supposed to snap them together. But the problem is, is that these won't fold in properly. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but so take the little arms out here. 
like this. There you go. And then fold this full piece down and fold the cannons back into here so they stay out of your way. And these are going to become the legs. And then um, right here there's little feet and you just pop them out like that. And then these arms here, just fold these around like this and then fold them down and you get the arms. These arms! Damn it, guy. And then open this and there's two little heads in there and for this mode you're going to want the littlest one. And there you go. And there is his robot mode, um, and which definitely stays together a lot better than his fire truck mode for me. I mean, he's pretty neat looking. He's actually probably one of the better looking robots for me. Kind of looks like he's wearing a fire truck hat. Fire truck hat? Fireman's hat. Wow. That was like Brian's giant hospital train. Speaking of giant hospital trains, uh, we've got this ambulance here, which also is pretty basic and boring looking. It's like a driving brick. It's like, oh man, I gotta get there with my brick. Its actual name is the Wind Rescue. It rescues you with the wind of bricks. I don't know, but uh, it's pretty boring looking, which is why you can see I think that blue is the coolest looking. Nothing really special about it. Um, so its transformation sort of involves you having to separate it in two. Uh, because you got to get its head out, and its head is right here, so pull it out. It's kind of got a little nurse's head. So pop it out there, um, extend it there so it's got a torso, and then its little arms just come out here. Damn it, and I can never, like, grab it without completely undoing it. Come on, arm, there we go. And there you have your little nurse bot. Um, it's easily the most brickish of all of them. There's like a tiny sliver between the legs. That's, oh, that's gross. Um, but so that you can tell that they're actually legs and not just a brick. But um, all of these are fairly old school looking like little brick robots. But this one definitely takes the cake. For me, is the most brickish looking. Brickish is a technical term. But yeah, you can see it there. And it is kind of neat that they all have like... Uh, their helmets corresponding to their theme, like you got a little construction hat I think going on, police cap, fireman's truck hat, uh, and then like the old kind of like nurses uh, hat. Everyone, nurses have hats? They used to. I don't know. But I think that's just kind of a neat little touch. Um, Alright, so now we've got yellow, which is the star racer? Rover? I can't read my own handwriting. It's a star something. Can't even see it. But it's like, you know, it moves dirt, just like Green and her work together. They're like, see you, dirt. Shut up, crime. Um, and you can fold it back there and keep it like that as well, but that's the most um, fun looking. Um, it's actually not too bad looking. It's one of those mundane zords, um, but it's actually not terrible looking. I really don't mind it all that much. Um, it's got a lot of stickers on it, so it looks a little bit more detailed. Transformation-wise, it's pretty simple. You're actually going to want to fold this down because it's going to become the feet. Um, and then extend this up a little bit and pull the arms out here and then just fold this down and then uh, right back here is the head and there you go. Um, it's very similar in a lot of ways to greens but it's a little sleeker. That's kind of also got a construction hat going on. You can see it's little little head there. It's like a super close up view. I didn't need to be that close. But yeah, those are those the robot modes. I think it's a lot of fun. They're all pretty basic looking, very much old school designs in their simplicity. But I love the fact that these are sort of, you know, they reminded me a lot of the Shogun Zords and the Zeo Zords. And I love that the fact that instead of just being robots, they're robots and individual Zords. So, a lot of fun. So now let's go ahead and we'll transform into Megazord mode. I'm going to kind of make a little extra room here. We're going to start with yellow. We'll start from the bottom. So for the legs, it's pretty simple. Just fold the arms back in, fold the head down, fold that down. Um, this position of this uh, is different depending on what mode you're in. I always forget. You don't want to be like this when you're in vehicle mode, but I'll just twist it like that for that uh, purpose. Uh, green, also very simple. It knocks over blue. He's like, get out of here, Justin. Fold his little arms in, fold them down, um, fold his head back away, and you've got the arms ready. So, white and red aside. Side. They were cracked. Okay, now blue, um, you're essentially going to fold them in half. Um, you can fold this piece up, I guess, and uh, just sort of fold them in half like this. Um, sort of get this going there. And fold these pieces down. And you saw those little silver pieces earlier. They're actually die cast metal. And these are going to attach um, into the top here, into these little pieces. Now, when I was younger, I always had a tremendous amount of trouble with these types of pegs. I don't know why. Even now, like, I'm having trouble just talking about it. Uh, we definitely have some better systems going on nowadays. There we go. So we got them both. It's a little bit difficult, like I said. Those are kind of really strange old pegs. And these are super loose, these, like, sliding mechanisms on mine because of how long I've had it and how many times I transformed it. So it makes it even more difficult to work with. But there you have that. Um, red is pretty simple. Um... So you pull, 
pull these up and you're going to want to take the cannons out. Um, and you're going to place the arms back in here. Um, except they're actually going to fit in there quite nicely this time. Um, fold these in and they're just going to kind of fold into these little places. And they fold nicely when you're not trying to stick them together. Just takes a little bit of maneuvering. And you just kind of slide it right in there. See it folds perfectly. Do the same for the other side. I can get it to... Oh, oops. I guess I have to do them both at the same time. Fold in. Fold in. Alright, now instead of putting them together, you're actually just going to slide them around. There you go. Take these and just kind of maneuver them so they're facing forward. Um, and then we're going to place them on top. There's little pegs and holes. You'll see where they all line up. It's basic Zord anatomy, folks. There you go. All right, now the arms, it's pretty easy. Um, you're gonna just wanna separate her again, fold her head in, fold her arms back in, because you're not gonna need arms upon arms. And then fold the little pegs out and fold the fist out, and then you can tell where it goes. Um, so you put the peg in here. Same thing here, just put the arm away. You only have to get a peg out, you don't have to put a head away. There is the fist, and goes in here. Like so. And now the instructions show you, or the pictures show you having them open. I personally like to close them because I feel like the arms are too long. Um, but I actually found a compromise is to just fold them up right to where the fingers are on the arms. Maybe that's actually the way you're supposed to do it. But that's, I think, the best looking way. Now that it's being difficult, is just to fold it up right to, so you're covering the fingers. Um, and then for his helmet, you just open this up and pull that helmet out that you saw before. And there you go. The Rescue Megazord from Turbo. It's pretty decent looking. Um, as I mentioned several times, I'm not an overly huge fan of the design. In particular, the Megazord is a little strange for me. It's got a, a pretty awesome looking, uh, sleek looking head sculpt, but it's, it's decent looking. It's not like I hate it, it's just not one of my favorites. And in particular, the toy, it's got these really huge feet. Like, he's, he looks pretty streamlined here a little bit, but he's got giant... He's just really oddly proportioned. I never noticed his arms until I'm looking through the eyes of the camera. But especially his feet really stand out. I think he's a really oddly proportioned Zord, and I'm not a huge fan of his design. Um, but I think this is one of the most fun uh, Megazords. Like, even though I'm not a huge fan of the design, I love that you have an individual Zord mode. You can transform him into little robots and then you get the Megazord mode. And this was one of the most fun I had with Zords when I was younger, and it's still probably one of my favorites to mess around with. Like when I was doing my practice runs for the review, I was having a lot of fun with it. And um, I can definitely recommend it if you're a fan of Turbo. Even though it's kind of odd looking on the shelf in this mode, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's one of the most fun Zords still for me. I just really, really enjoy playing with it despite not liking uh, the design too much. Um, one other note, because I always forget to mention it, but it seems stupid, but the only articulation is you can move the arms, which is pretty much the same for any Zord. So that's why I always forget to mention it. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, I can recommend it because I think it's a lot of fun. Um, until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.